I'm Nick Laidlaw and today we're going to do some lower body strengthening exercises. So we're just going to be using uh, the beautiful resistance of our body weight. I'm going to take you through four different movements that are kind of fun to build stability and strength in the ankles, knees and hips and good coordination as well. Don't jump to the next kind of movement until you feel like you mastered the first one and there's always a variation which is going to be suitable for you. If you've got anything going on in the knees, ankles, hips, uh, if you've got any lower back pain, probably not the best ones for you because we're using some single leg and we're going out of that kind of perfect range of mo movement. But just see what feels suitable for you and there's always a variation. You don't have to go all the way down as low as I go uh, and you can always kind of just tweak it just gently to see what's kind of suiting you. So first one we're going to do is just a squat. So we've practiced the, the resting squat plenty of times in the previous mobilization videos. So just being in this position, we're going to make it more dynamic. We're going to use our breath all the way down for a breath out all the way in for as we go up. So just squatting down and up. Have your hands wherever they want to naturally go. Bum towards the ground. If you only go to about here, perfect, it doesn't matter. So what you want to do is just drive your butt right back. Your back spine doesn't need to stay neutral. That's specifically important when you've got weights on your back, but our body has very much adapted to be able to go beyond neutral with a, a rounded spine. So unless, unless you're experiencing pain in your lower back, this is fine. So down and up, just find a nice rhythm. A couple of seconds down, a couple of seconds up. Breathe out as you go down and come up as you're breathing in. And you can go up to about 20 to 30 repetitions with this movement. Really good for your digestive system. Really good for the whole integrity of the whole lower body. Second one we'll move on to is a pistol squat or a single leg squat. So standing on one foot, I'll do it side on so you can see what we're gonna do. Reach the other foot out. Reach the arms out to counterbalance as much as we can. Take a breath in. As we drop down, we breathe out. <sighs> breathing in, coming up. Breathing out to go down. <sighs> breathing in to come up. Breathing out to go down. <sighs> so, if the range of movement all the way down to the ground doesn't suit you, that doesn't mean you have to do it. So, what you can do is just cut the movement a little short. Or you might go all the way down through one leg, and then you might come up with your hands, but because one side might be different to the other, doesn't mean that you have to do the same on both sides, and it doesn't mean that it has to look like mine. It might just be a, quite a small movement. A couple of inches down, a couple of inches up. From there, we're gonna go for a lateral body weight shift of the Cossack squat. Feet are nice and wide. We're gonna see if we can breathe out as we travel down. Drop the bum towards the bent knee, Breathing in to come up, breathing out to go down. Pressing through the heel as you come up. And then a variation might look the similar as you push your bottom back, but you don't bring your bottom all the way to the ground. Try and keep the weight on the heels as much as you can. Keep your chest open. Keep the knee from going inwards too much. And then the last movement we're gonna do is called the sissy squat. So this is really good if you ever are fearing taking the knees in front of the toes. Very bad, most physios will say that. But if you do anything from surfing, dancing, to walking up a set of stairs, you're gonna to need to utilize the ability of our body to take the knees in front of the toes. So this is something you could start super slow with and gradually build up. First what we do, we tuck the tail under, so it's called a posterior pelvic tilt, squeezing through the butt, long spine, bring the knees in the direction of the ground, and then coming up. See how that feels. 10 repetition range would be good. Seeing how it feels, forwards and back, forwards and back. You'll notice that my heels come off the ground, squeezing my butt, then you want to explore over weeks gradually, going down lower and lower and lower, seeing how you feel with that. The idea is to get the knees to the ground. If you feel comfortable with that, you then do what's called a cyclical squat. So from this position, take your bottom back, drive yourself forward, bring the knees to the ground, all the way back and up. Or if you're confident, taking the knees to the ground, driving all the way up, taking the knees to the ground, driving all the way up. Pretty tricky, but you'll get better at it. 
the more exposure you give yourself to them. With each of these exercises, I'd encourage about a minute uh, for each of the movements, doing them at a moderate pace. So that's gonna just build a nice amount of strength. If you're moving slower, you do them to the next energy system, which is more muscular endurance. So you'd go for a little bit longer. Uh, if you're doing about a minute for the single legs each side, that's gonna build up a nice amount of resistance. So enjoy those.